Hey you guys, we're, we're going to do a workout that's more related to the workout called Core Up that we do at the, at the karate school. Um, it's, it's designed to really work on balancing and, and getting connected with the center of your body, your core. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to demonstrate some of that right now. And we're using these because our, our girls are in softball and we want to uh, have something to give us some focus because we do something called the medicine ball where we're handing it back over our shoulder, trying not to use our arms, but trying to use the core to achieve that. We're gonna start off with that exercise right now. So Ms. Justine, we're gonna make home base right by our left shoulder and we're gonna hand it back over our right shoulder. And do you see how my hips turn? Now one of the things you can do, just like we do in the karate, is pivot that foot and look how easily my hips move. Okay, see that action? This would not be good. Do you see how my arms are moving, but not my body? I want my, my arms to stay the same. Look at my arms stay the same, but my body moves and I can achieve that handing that bat ball back over my shoulder without using my arms to power it. I'm using my core, mostly the middle of my body. And that would be classified as a rotational exercise, really good for the core. Okay, now we're going to take that and we're going to add a small step to the side, keeping our standing leg bent. Right now I'm on my right leg. If you're mirroring us, you may be doing your left leg. It doesn't matter. We're going to do that same thing. Now the ball is going to move in the opposite direction of my foot like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten, very good. Let's keep that ball here by our left shoulder and we're gonna get down in a squat and press up and push the ball up over our heads and load back down and squat low. So I'm keeping my chest up, push it up. Left shoulder, back up. Keep breathing, four, five, six, Seven, eight, very good. Let's hold it just in the left hand. We're gonna step back into a split squat. We're gonna take that, put our right arm out, keep it really steady, drop down low, bending both knees, and extend our left arm. Let's go up at 45 degrees. If you don't have a softball, obviously, you could hold on to a bean bag. It doesn't matter, anything, a stuffed animal. Okay, you could be using a teddy bear. Okay, doesn't have to be heavy. Five. This is an isometric exercise for our legs right now. My legs are holding me there. Oh, very good. And let's stand up and just shake it loose. We're going to be starting down in a squat again. <clears throat> Put the whatever your stuffed animal or your ball in by your left shoulder. We're gonna go down and get a squat, push it up, come up and lift our knee and do a medicine ball. Okay, one and two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Give me four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Now I was saying that we do a lot of balancing in this class and I, I just find it wakes up the brain so well. Right now we're going to get a back kick, which is, you know, if you've been doing a karate, just to stomp behind yourself. It can go downward at about a 45 degree angle. Let me show you the side view of that. If I try to kick really high, it's going to really uh, put a lot of stress on my lower back. When I kick down at 45, very little, but a really good toning to the lower back area. What we're gonna do is we're gonna extend our arm with our ball or stuffed animal and extend our leg. So our arm up at 45, our leg back and down at 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. I try to keep my right arm out to the side very steady. Nine, 10. Let's put the ball in the other hand. Get the other arm out. Same leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's really good for the brain. Okay, shake that loose. One more exercise for today. We're going to start in a split squat. Come up and get that back kick. We're going to put the ball back in our left hand. Start down. We're going to extend our arm down here, up at 45. Come up and get that back kick and go back down. Get one. Come up. Get one. Come down. Get one. Come up. Get one. Down. Get one. Up. Get one. Down. Get one. Up. Get one, down, get one, up, get one. <laughs> we could hear our dog crunching on a carrot. <laughs> anyway, okay, stop now, you guys. That should be repeated on the other side. Should we do it, honey? Or? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do the other side of that for you and you're gonna do it with us. So we're gonna get down, let's, let's do the medicine ball with the starting by the right is that correct? Yeah. No, starting by the right <laughs> shoulder. So it's gonna go back this way. See how I try to pass it right by my ear? And I'm trying to use my arms as little as possible, so I have to use other parts of my body. Let's add that little pivot. So you see how my hips and shoulders are turning? Now, I wanna get that leg extension to the side, so my foot <laughs> is gonna go out to the right and the ball is going to go over my left shoulder and I allow my hips to turn. See my belly button goes like this and I keep that step straight to the side. Bend this knee, it becomes an isometric exercise for that leg, holding your weight on that one leg. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, good. Hold the ball in both hands by your right shoulder, starting down in a squat. We're gonna push up and reach up. Two, hips back, chest up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, we're gonna take our right foot, step back into a split squat again. I want to remind you, your back foot has to be straight so your knees are lined up like you're on railroad tracks. Okay, so ball in the right hand, take it down, and one, two. It's an isometric exercise for the legs, four. And it's a pos posture and balance exercise. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Let's come back up. We're going to get a squat where we get a shoulder press at the bottom, medicine ball knee lift at the top. Okay, take your time. At any time, if you need a break, stop and have some water. Hit pause, come back and join us again. Here we go. And one, up, two, three, four, hand it back, five. Hand it back. I could be Justine's trainer. She could be handing me back you that ball over the shoulder. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. That was awesome. Okay, time for some balancing. <laughs> now we have the ball in our right hand. It's going to be our right <laughs> leg. We're going 45 degrees up with the ball, 45 degrees down with our back kick. See that? I just lost my balance. Okay, here we go. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Transfer that ball into the other hand. And one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. One more exercise. We're going to step back into a split squat. Right? Yeah. We're going to come up out of a split squat and get that back kick. It's in our back in our the ball is back in our right hand. So if you have whatever you have, hold it in your right hand. We're going to extend with a back kick. Draw down to a split squat and do another extension with the arm. So that, what that does is making sure that you have great posture so you can do this easily. Posture and balance, very important. Here we go, and one, extend and extend. Up, two, extend and extend. Three, up, extend and extend. Four, extend and extend. Five, extend, head and chest up. And six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good, let's put our object down. Let's get three common abrays. One. Two and three. Wow, I love that one. When we add the balance and posture, it feels so invigorating. And, and I love how it wakes up both sides of my brain. I don't know if you noticed on the back kicks when you switched hands, how much you have to be aware of your center. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. We'll be coming back at you with more of those. Have a good day. Thank you, Miss Justine. Have a good day.